So now we want to be able to write a program to make our robot follow a line. So in order to do that, we're going to need to make sure our light sensor is configured. So we're going to go ahead and make sure it's in the correct port there. And we're going to make sure that we have set up a calibrating um, program here. So we'll repeat until block and we want to start auto calibrating our light sensor and when enter is pressed we want um, it to auto calibrate the current reading. So like we had mentioned before, um, once you press that green flag, put your light sensor against uh, a bright material and a dark material in order uh, to have that, that bot start calibrating the different brightness and darkness so it can begin to have a reading of it. And it will have, be a lot smoother in the long run when we do that. If we didn't do this, it, there could be a lot of glitches and um, the, the robot won't react to brightness and darkness as easily as if you had auto calibrated that reading. So let's go ahead and make, um, make our program. So we want to repeat forever so it'll continue reading this code and follow the line. So in this case, we're not going to be able to use our driving blocks. We actually have to make sure that our motors are configured. I'll just do this quickly. And our right motor should be in port C. Okay. So we want our we're going to have to use degree specific and we want our um, our left and right motors to turn different degrees if it if it detects darkness we want our our left motor to, to turn slightly so that it continues to follow the line because our line's going to be dark so we want to, it to follow along so we need to use our light sensor brightness. So we can just put that inside the degree specific number because we don't need it to, to start turning at a degree. We want it to start turning when it detects different brightnesses. So our right motor can just stay the same. When our right motor is uh, following the line, it's, it's just going to continue on. But we want our left motor to turn a little so that it will curve with that dark line. So in order to do that, we need to use an operator and we're going to use the minus operator. And because darkness is normally 50 and under, we're going to put 100 in there. And if we 100 minus the brightness, it should read about the darkest um, point on that black line that you're going to be making and it should be able to follow and start turning. So you might have to play around with this number a little bit, but 100 is a good place to start um, because normally the brightness um, of the dark surface is 50, so 100 minus 50 is 50, so it should in turn work, but you might have to play around with this a little. So if we were to go ahead and run our program, it's now going to start auto calibrating when we press that red flag and when we press enter on our robot, it's going to include that current reading and then it's just going to start turning the right motor uh, at the, the brightness point. So it's going to follow more of the whiteness and once it starts to detect the, a, a, darker, a darker shade, it's going to, to turn slightly. So you can go ahead and run that code and start testing it out. You might have to play around with it a little. If you want to, once you have figured it out and you do want to speed up your, your, your robot, you're finding it to be too slow, you can use this um, operator. And if you're not aware that this also means multiplication, so this star is another math equation for multiplication. So all you would have to do is put these inside and maybe if I wanted to, to go like five times faster I could just put five in there maybe I only want to go twice as fast so I could put two we'll put four for now so we can go four times the speed 
and we can just put this one in there as well. So once you know for sure that it's going to be calibrated correctly and you have it detecting the dark line, then you can go ahead and speed it up by using this multiplication tab. If you wanted to slow it down, you could do the opposite and you could divide um, whatever the speed it was so it would go even slower. So it would be the same thing but division. So I have a quick vid of my bot finally being able to detect the dark line. So it does take a while. So you notice that it can get a little shaky and that's normal. It, um, it's just reading a little bit of the, the blackness a bit too much against the white. So you might have to play around with it before it gets smoother. When you're drawing it on paper, you can find that more. But if you use the board, which you will later on in this challenge, um, it, it will be a lot smoother because it's on a smoother surface and the electrical tape is a lot more reliable than it is with, let's say, a marker. So you can go ahead and play around with that. So just remember to have your light sensor configured and you're going to want to make sure that you have auto calibrated your program and in order to uh, make your your robot follow the line you're going to use an operator and you're going to minus from the left motor and if you wanted it you could also do the right motor it's up to you you just need one of the motors to be less and so it can detect the darkness so go ahead and give that a go, and this is an advanced lesson, so have fun and enjoy the challenge.